Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, SimUK here. This is Railway Empire 2 from Calypso Media. The game came out on 25th of May 2023. And they were kind enough to send me an early access title, um, early access beta version um, to have a look at, put some content together for you. So this is the first episode. We are playing in 4K on high graphics and um, hopefully the music is allowed to be played on YouTube. I don't know for sure, but I hope, for, hope that it will be. Let's go for a new game here. Let's go campaign. So we've got chapter one, two, three, four, and five. It's all over different places of the world, including Britain, which is very nice. Okay, so we're gonna go American Northeast, hometown of Boston, 1830. 1.4 million kilometers squared. That's crazy. 18 cities, uh, 53 rural businesses, no rank yet. Okay, let's go. My first look at this, I haven't seen it before. I like this character. Walter Pajonk, I don't think so. It's in UK, maybe. Eloquent, yes. The cost of an auction are subsequently reduced by 30%. Fluent in business, all locomotives are 60% cheaper. Wow! That's very good. Unpopular, 15% less revenue from passengers and mail. Really? And I can't change the name of anything else. Okay. Would you like to go through and see all the characters? Oh, your character can't be changed in this game mode. Okay then. We're just jumping in. Initial funds, difficulty level. The difficulty options were set by the game. The higher the level of difficulty, the greater the factor with which you score, your score will be multiplied after completing all tasks. The factor is 1.05. Well, I can't change anything, so we'll stick with that, I guess. jump in. Got my daughter's lucky uh, karate hat on. So let's hope it brings me some luck, some good luck. A little bit of time in the loading screens. The maps are huge so that's probably why. Any moment now. Here we go. Look the 19th century was a golden age of technology, especially for those of us whose hearts beat with a steady pace of the locomotive. My name is Nagelmakers. I assume you have already heard of me. Nope. Should I have? When I was young, I had a dream. A cross-border luxury train from Paris to St. Petersburg. Wow. To make my dream come true, I invited guests. You don't get trains like In that anymore. In another time, entrepreneurs like them were the driving force behind progress. But now they were standing in my way. Take this gentleman, for example. I was planning to revolutionize the industry, just as pioneers like him had done in the early days of the railroad. The late 1820s marked the beginning of a revolution in transportation, both in the old and the new world. Fueled by steady growth, the industrial centers on the East Coast demanded more and more resources in less and less time. Roads and even the newly built waterways could hardly meet the increasing demand. Look at that, the Mississippi Queen. However, inspired minds had combined the idea of tracks and the new invention of the steam engine into a powder keg that was to shake society Look to its foundations. Look at that bad boy. 
It only took ambitious pioneers to light the fuse. Ah, glad you're here. The name is Corning, Erastus Corning. You must be the young railroad expert that was recommended to me. Other people don't think much of this newfangled nonsense, but I think investment into this railroad thing and your company is money well spent. I'm the proud owner of a hardware company, and the more railway lines you construct using my steel, the richer I'll get, so don't go bankrupt. But why don't you just get started using the to-do list I created? My company is situated in Albany, so you should connect this city as soon as possible. Don't worry about the difficult terrain. Clever planning is everything. Right, so first task, whoops. Deliver eight loads of lumber to Boston by June 1830. Mr. Corning has already built a first station at a lumber yard nearby, which can be put into operation immediately. Livestock is also offered at the lumber yard. If necessary, you can prioritize wood by selecting the station in the station list of the rail line. Okay, so it does look like, or it does sound as though, there it is, um, we can only transport one type of freight on a train line, which seems awfully odd. Right. <clears throat> So, I am going to construct a maintenance depot for 80,000, because without that, we're not going to last very long. I'm going to construct a line that runs up here. Now, I didn't really check that line, but it's such a short route and it doesn't look that imposing so I think it's going to be quite reasonably cheap so let's get a new rail line going so the John Bull is a mixed train so we'll confirm that automatic loading we'll go from Green Stop to Boston Livestock is also offered at the lumberyard. If necessary, you could prioritise wood by selecting the station in the station list of the rail line. Well, let's see if he does pick up both things. How are there seven rail lines there? Oh my god, is that what he built? Good god. Right, so that is all... That is all cows and no wood. So, how, <clears throat> how am I going to prioritize? Livestock is also a remember. If necessary, you can prioritize wood by selecting the station in the station list. Ah. Oh. Priority, there we go. Priority is wood. Okay, good. So you can pick up more than just one thing. Oh, confirm. Yes. Flamingo Rail Inc. has the fastest train. The grasshopper reached 24 kilometers an hour. Okay. 24 kilometers an hour. That's our target then. Just to beat that. Right, so we're going to have two trains going along this route, which is not good, because we only have one line. Oh no, that's annoying. It's incredibly annoying. It's not going to let me do that, is it? I 
wonder if I can edit this. Damn, I should have checked that before I uh, okayed it. Right, what I could do... Four thousand. I think that's about as cheap as I can get that. So we'll say yes. Put in a crossover point. And that should alleviate that problem. Gives us a round robin route as well, which is kind of useful. Okay. Good. Eight loads of lumber to Boston. That should happen quite quickly. Eight loads of sugar to Boston. Uh, Boston and Albany Railroad imports John Bull model kit for real railway workers. Ah, oh, it's an English one. Robert Stevenson and was shipped across the Atlantic. Good lord. Right, but before I jump too far ahead, let's make sure we got some water. Okay, good. So where are we going to get sugar from? Connection bonus, 125,113 days left. Already connected though, isn't it? Why have we got livestock? That's going to irritate me, this is... stop livestock transportation and we'll just focus on lumber for now because that's what we need that's our priority so I need to find some sugar so sugar no that's salt there's sugar the so Boston are getting no sugar at all they're not getting any sugar. Who's getting sugar then? Somebody must be getting sugar. What the hell's sugar? Boston and Albany Railroad has the fastest train. The John John Bull reached 34 kilometers an hour. An hour. Is that us then? Might be. Might Very be. good. What we're doing here really has the potential to revolutionize the way we have been transporting goods up till now. Right. So, we can unlock that again, but prioritise the wood. It seems fine. 
I have to find some sugar from somewhere. There's apples. Sugar. Oh, there it is. I see it already. So, Ra railway building. I'm going to want to connect this to New York. Six million. Oh my god, I don't think so. Okay, this is going to be a slow process, I can see. Eighty-nine thousand. Good job I spotted that, because that would have crippled us immediately. Right. Okay, that's that done. We're going to create a new. La -la -la. No, we're not. We're going to pop one of these in. So we're going to build a water tower in the middle. We're going to set the direction. Looking good. One of these this end. Now we create a new rail line from Boston to Kelly Station. John Bull, confirm. <clears throat> I've left that on mixed because we are going to extend into New York City very soon. Where has he started? This end? Oh, I can hear him. There he is. Fantastic. Oh, what's this? The demand for the imported good lumber has been reduced because it has reached the maximum stock level. Okay, well in that case, we're going to build... Ah, we're not going to build a warehouse because I can't. Uh, research. Warehouse. That's a hundred innov in innovation points. So that's going to help us out a lot. Boston. Not Boston, sorry. Where is the train track? Is that it? Warehouse. Perfect. The warehouse allows goods to move from one train to another and reach more destinations. To do this, the warehouse must be picked up in both train lines and the goods must be activated in the warehouse. Okay. So we'll take livestock, lumber, 
What's Boston producing? It's got to be alcohol, right? That's my HQ. Where's Boston? So we're lacking a lot of things. So we're producing meat. Can I buy that? Oh, God. <clears throat> That's expensive. I'd like to buy the meat industry, but we're not quite rich enough for that. Okay, did I put water? Yes, I did. Spy tower. <clears throat> okay. Eight loads of sugar to Boston. Connection bonuses are paid after the first delivery has arrived. Fine. Transport 320 passengers non stop from Boston to Portland. That's my next job. You must first connect the train station in New York City to your rail network before you may construct another train station in another city. Oh, blast. Okay, I didn't realise that. Getting ahead of myself ever so slightly. Uh, so the New York line may well go somewhere. I don't know. All right. Let's try and connect this up. Forty-four thousand. That's not too bad. Ninety-four thousand. Why is that so much more expensive? We'll put it all the way up there, and that way we've got some some breakout if we need to. Uh, supply tower. Well, it's because we dug down into the depths of the earth. Right, okay, so we got something from New York City. Let's go do Portland. Nice train station. Built myself into a bit of a corner here by accident. Let's try and resolve that as quick as possible. Going to be some deleting of objects, I think. Right. 
So we're going to have an express train. It goes from Portland to Boston, and then all the way down to New York City. It's going to be an express. Oh, the John Bull is a new train. Um, well, it's mixed. 34 kilometers an hour, I suppose. Let's go with that. We're going to stick five trains on that route. Your train line runs along long sections without direction. Really? Where? That has direction. That all has direction. I don't believe you. That all has direction. Oh. Right, fixed. What's the last task? Reach 25,000 citizens in Boston. The inhabitants of Boston My demand beer. Owes you. Look around for the best place to start a supply route. Beer, beer, beer. Right. So we're going to need to find some wheat. Is that sugar? So what I really want to do is buy some of these small farms before I connect the railway line up to them so that I can make lots of profit as they grow. Um, so this is all out of bounds. So we need to, we need to find some wheat from somewhere. New York City make cloth and clothing. Portland do meat. Bangor do clothing. Mm. Good lord, look at this. Buffalo make beer. Yowza. Gotta be somewhere closer than Buffalo. Sawyer Farm is closer. Albany make beer, okay. So we need little roots going from Albany. So I can't build the next line. Oh, I can. Kind of tightly interwoven, isn't it? Buffalo's all the way down there. Okay. We've got a root. We've got something something that we could do something with. Eighty six thousand. Why so expensive? Five thousand appears to be the cheapest we can do that. We 
bit fiddly to get onto that second track sometimes, is that? Oh, that's an icon there that you can click on. And it just automatically does it. Ooh. Okay. So, we'll stick one of those that side. One of those that side. At least we can get multiple things on the go there. We've got a supply tower in the middle somewhere. But we're not going to benefit by dragging Soya Farm over to this. Can I buy beer business? How much do they want? Oh. So I can't buy the beer business, they're too expensive. But what about this little farm? 186,000. I could have a punt at that. We've got it. You recently acquired this rural business. Fantastic. So Albany's on the decline, but it won't be for long. He says thinking, how the hell am I going to get a track from over here to over there? Whose line is that? I need to block him off, don't I? That's going to cost 400 and something odd thousand. Dramatically reduced there, 232,000. I mean, that's very expensive, but. That's going to make us so much money. But I don't need to worry. That's a lot cheaper, 105,000. Okay, cross point. Big speculation to accumulation going on there. Uh, railway buildings, we definitely need some water. Probably before and after. And. Boston and Albany Railway decreases track length to well over a thousand kilometers. I think we're going to need a maintenance depot. We are running seriously low on cash now. I'm a bit worried. Okay. New line from Sawyer. To Albany and then all the way over to New York. It's going to be the John Ball. I think we're going to need at least. Well, let's start with two. Automatic loading. Right, that's going to get it over to here. Now I need to build a warehouse. Oh, look at our money. Right, that should be it. So we'll be able to swap the warehouse here. Get the um, get the beer. Oh, hang on. I've got to open the warehouse to beer. So we're going to accept grain, beer, Cloth. Clothing. And that should, theoretically, in my head at least, start 
sharing everything everywhere. Did I put sugar on that list? Look at this train. Passengers and mail bags. So what I could do is edit this rail line and include Albany in that. 31 days that takes. Oh, I've got a section without direction. There we go. Right. So, Sawyer Rest. The production of grain has been reduced as it has reached maximum inventory. Okay. Wow, look at our money already. 838,000. Where did all that money come from? So, 320 passengers from Boston to Portland non-stop. Where the hell's Boston? Is Boston all the way down there? No. Where's Boston? Oh, Boston to Portland. So, need to create a new rail line. We'll go with the John Paul. We'll make it an express. Portland to Boston and back again. Just have one of those. How are we doing? December 1830. Oh god, I'm cutting that fine. Now, fulfillment of demand is at 49.6. So what are we not getting? Corn, beer, okay, so beer's on the way. So corn, everybody wants a bit of corn. Where am I going to get corn from? Is there a corn farm over here? Yes. Is there anything closer than that? Albany. What are they getting? Oh, very low. 33 point something odd. So they need corn, they need lumber. They need meat, they need beer. They need everything. So, as soon as we've got a bit of cash now, I think what I'm going to do... How much do you reckon that'll cost? 121,000. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go at that. Eighty-five thousand, is that all? Wonderful. Right, we're up and running. Train station in the middle of the two. So this could be a dedicated line, couldn't it? 229,000. What the monkeys? Accept that. Oh, I can't. Something's wrong. Right, how much is that? 104. We'll accept it. 
154 will take it on. Change over point. Change over point. Supply tower in the middle. And does this have maintenance? It doesn't, does it? We're going to have to get some maintenance. And we're probably going to have to have a warehouse. Because things are going to get right proper busy in Boston, in Albany, rather. How is Albany still not growing? Okay. So we're going to start a new rail line. From coal train station to Albany. Just one train, a John Ball. Just freighting. And away you go. So that should theoretically block them. So they can't come through us now. So they're stuck there. We have cornered them off. They've reached maximum inventory, that's fine. Oh, I need to come here to the warehouse. What are we going to accept? We're going to accept wool, beer, sugar, meat, lumber, Gotta be corn, isn't it? The last thing. Thirty-three point five. Right, cool. We are delivering that quantity. They still need corn. They still need meat. They still need beer. Quarterly report. So we've got 1 million in bonuses, 1.28 total. Lots of investment. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're ticking over. We just need to make profit now. Wondering whether there's crack of a third line in here. What are you waiting for? Being serviced. They're both being serviced. Sold myself to the devil here. Alright, we'll give them an express purpose built lane. For 66,000. Right. Should at least stop any of this rubbish in the future. What are you carrying, my good man? Why aren't you carrying any, uh... Hmm. What have we got? Boston to Kelly. Coal train station to Albany. Green stop to Boston. Portland, not Boston. Portland, Boston. Sawyer Rest in New York. Uh... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So yeah, that is passing through Albany. Got two John Bulls on the go. I think we're going to need more than that. Let's get another two trains on that. Let's 
So we've got three wood coming in, but we've got no meat, no corn, no wool. Why is that? Why do we not have any of these things? We're not producing wool over here. We are. It's all wood. Why is it all wood? If there's no priority, why aren't they producing 50% of one and 50% of the other? Oh, that's expensive. We don't have enough cash to buy that, apparently. We're not holding wheat. That's very stupid. We need to be holding wheat. Perhaps we don't need to hold sugar in place of wool. Let's try that. Messages and mailbags. Lots of beer. There's lots of beer coming to... Ah, maybe, maybe I haven't done it here. Yes, I think that's what it is. Right, so beer. We want beer. And meat. We're going to do meat. What are our needs? Tell me. We need beer and we need corn. What else do we need? So everything else is catered for, it's just corn we're missing out on. Oh, sorry, grain and corn. Make sure we've got those coming in. Bit of grain, grain and corn. Right, so we should start seeing some of that stuff heading this way. Let's have a look, see here. So the beer is definitely coming in by the bucket load, quite literally. Um, so I need to take a look at... Austin to Kelly Station. No, no, no. It's this one. Portland to Albany. It's a long old route. Hang on, I'm concerned. Am I achieving my target? Done 70, okay. We're getting there. Uh, Portland to Albany. This is a ridiculously long route. We're going to edit the rail line and it's not going to be express anymore. It's going to be automatic. Yeah. Definitely going to be automatic. Much better utilisation of the line. Perfect. Lots of trains are breaking down at the moment. Let's have a look at our personnel. What's cash out bonus? What does that mean?
all of our positions are filled, so that's not a problem. Let's have a look at research. What can we research? Seat upholstery. A simple seat upholstery makes travelling much more comfortable, especially with unsprung wagon axles. Increase the number of passengers in all cities with one of your train stations by 5%. Have I already got that? Oh, these are the ones I don't have. Okay. Whoops. So, by communicating to all participants in auctions that you have almost unlimited funds at your disposal, other bidders get out faster. That's not really helpful. Speedometer. The efficiency of the driving operation can be increased by continuously measuring the current speed. Increases the maximum speed of all early locomotives up to and including the John Bull by 5%. Definitely. Tenders. By issuing an open call for bids to multiple contractors before any building is constructed, construction prices for all buildings go down. Leaf sprung suspension. Leaf, sprung, uh, leaf springs are now being used on all wagons to decouple wheels and axles from the wagon. This increases the running smoothness of the trains and faster cornering is possible. 10% speed increase? Hell yes! Oh, I see. What? I don't have enough innovation points for this one. I see. Okay, we're almost there. We've got 280. Wasn't paying enough attention there. Okay, trying to do too many things at once. How are we doing? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna smash that. Boston growing or still sinking? Fulfillment is at 50%. What are we still not getting? Still not getting any... Not getting loads of stuff. Passengers and mail. Passengers and mail. Wood. Meat. No beer. Why is there no beer? Are they just consuming the beer as it comes in? Let's just have a look. What do they need that, that they're not getting? Sugar. Okay, that's one of the things. So do we have a route that's going... Yeah, that's Boston Kelly Station. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to say go to New York and then back to Kelly Station and then back up there. Let's just do freight. We're going to need more than one train now, though. Okay. Well, we need to start making some profit, guys. Some big profit. How much is this? Uh, what's this and how much is it? Apples? Nobody needs apples, but 102,000 seems quite reasonable. But I, have, I just can't afford it right now. We're going to have to wait.
So what are you transporting? Uh, so your automatic loading. Could I maybe swap you to freight? Absolutely nothing. Why is he carrying absolutely nothing? I'm nervous. We've hardly got any. Right, I need to upgrade this. This is not good enough. Production is now at 5.6. Let's see if that helps. Oh, come on. This has to be an express. No. No. Forget that. Which lane is it? Portland to Boston. That one. Is that an express? Yeah, okay, so it is an express. Do we need to... No, I don't think we need to. We're almost halfway there. All right, let's see if we can go. Sorry, not the engine shed here. That's right, going to make our trains faster. Loads and loads of livestock for Boston. What did Boston make? Meat. They don't have any stock of anything. Did I buy this? I don't think I did, did I? 81,000. Yeah, we'll take that. Fantastic. afford that one. We've got the wood though. Not producing anything. Why are we not producing anything? What's going on? with production. Have they, do they produce meat then? Why do they produce meat as well? Look, why aren't they stopping and grabbing stuff along the way? Let's fix this line. This is the crazy route that goes everywhere, right? So let's edit this. We 
who goes from Portland So we're going to say from there to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. So that should be picking up and transporting just about everything. Let's speed this up a bit. So we've got some apples there. What's this? Bishop Quarry. How much is that? That's quite cheap. More sugar. That's quite expensive, the old sugar mill, isn't it? Bangor. What did Bangor make? Oh, hello. Auction. Foundations. These research results will be auctioned off to the highest bidder. Through the attribute of eloquent, you receive a bonus of 30% for this auction. Do I? Can't afford to bid. It's too expensive. Barty Shiloh has bought that information. Right, so Banger make clothes. Good if I could get some. How much is the train station? Definitely going to want to go off that way. So let's opt to connect something in the middle. God, that's so expensive. Look at this. Damn it, we can't afford it. So I've got myself in a bit of a sticky mess there. Okay, well, we're ready to grow eventually. We've got to get to 25,000 in, in Boston. Well, Boston is finally growing. Have they got some beer at last? Hurrah! Nine units of beer have been brought in. Right. One unit. Okay, good. So there's still no corn. Still no meat. That's weird. Why would they need meat? They make meat. Very strange. No sugar being brought in either. Okay, we're making a huge loss right now. All these fantastic trains traveling all these fantastic distances. So we are making profit over here, 67,000, producing quite a bit here. We're not overloaded, we're about balanced correctly.
The lumber mill, that's totally full, look. Is there no demand for lumber here? How can there be no demand for lumber? Oh, we've brought in... We've got loads of lumber. Annoying. What's on that train then? Lumber for New York City. Okay. So they bring it in here and then it gets dropped off to New York. So what are they after? Corn. Everybody wants corn. And sugar. Where the hell are they getting their sugar from then? Corn, that's where the money is. In corn. Where's where's a corn? Salt. That's gonna be valuable. Milk. They make beer as well. Oh, I could uh, start taking some of my stuff up to them. I'm sure, they'd appreciate that. I can't afford it right now, that's all. I wonder if I could build something. Boston, 66.6%, it's up to 23,000. So, what have we got to get up to? 25,000. We're nearly there, guys. I'm nearly there. There's an awful lot of cows coming in there. What are you carrying? Meat and lumber. Lumber for New York City. Wow. Interesting. Well, I think we're going to achieve all of our targets rather soon. Which is good. That's a good start. Financially, ah, okay, the money's starting to roll in. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Right, let's, uh, let's try laying down some, some track here. Oh, that's 331,000. Why is that so expensive? Is it because we've got to clear all these trees? That is so expensive. I don't understand why that is quite so expensive. That's so much cheaper, 180 something thousand. Dangerously close to being broke right now. I 
I think I can only afford to have one train on this route. New rail line from Jackson Stop to Portland. We're doing freight. It's going to be the John Bull. It's going to bring a lot of sugar in here to Portland. Ah, oh, they don't have a warehouse, do they? Can't afford it. Can't afford a warehouse. Do Portland need sugar? Tell me yes, please. No, of course they don't, because they're right next to sugar. But these guys need sugar, right? Boston needs sugar. No, they don't need sugar either. What the frickin' hell am I doing? Why am I extending into sugar land when nobody needs any bloody sugar? Everyone needs corn. That's where I need to put my money, in corn. Oh, we're so close on both fronts. We're going to smash this out any second now. We're going to change it to automatic. Nobody's going to make any money here until we get to Bangor. And we already know we can't afford to get to Bangor. That's better, 136,000. 132. I mean, that is all my money. But that's better. Now, where's that stupid train? Right, so this little train should go all the way through now and out this side and then come back on itself. Fingers crossed. No, he's not doing that. Or is he? Or he might be. Ah, oh, what have I done? That's what I meant to do. I started out with a small hardware store that I inherited from my father. Oh, okay. But now it has grown into a stately company, and with the help of the railway, it can become really big. Fantastic, we just got one more task to achieve by the end of December, and we should have that in the bag fairly quickly and uh, this new route that I've half-heartedly thrown together look at that. it's got a bit of meat a bit of mailbag a bit of passengers perfect slowly but surely making a profit again very quickly, but then we have spent out a lot of cash. We'd start reaping in the benefits. What do they need? They need any lumber? No. <laughs> Damn it, I've invested in all the wrong companies. Um, this is the only wheat I know about. 
That is expensive. Oh, they make vegetables though. What do these guys make? Bricks. Almost there. Almost there. I just there. received a grateful letter from the mayor of Boston regarding our new passenger Yay. line. Yay! That's really good press. Especially now that we are delivering goods faster than they are consumed, passengers can be a more reliable source of income. We have already done a lot for the people in this region. Shorter sure travel times, increased transport of goods, and at the same time, our registers are ringing. Yes, As a yes, next yes. step, we should consolidate our success. Take a look at your list. I've added some more tasks. All right, we're going to wrap that up for episode one, guys, because um, I need to go and help my daughter with her karate training. So I don't know how to pause the game. We go new save. We'll say yes, and we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments, suggestions, recommendations below. Uh, I'll read them all and reply to those that I can. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.